Week 16 of fantasy football season. Here's a few tight ends that can help fantasy owners down the stretch here. With only two weeks left, the first tight end that looked at off the wall is Hunter Henry. And the New England Patriots are Hunter Henry. What a ball game it was for him once again in week 15 versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Seven catches, 66 yards, and a touchdown before exiting with a knee injury. So him and Bailey Zapp definitely have a good rapport. Week 14 in Pittsburgh, and big game it was for him as well in that one. Three catches, 40 yards, touchdown. So Hunter Henry, three touchdowns now in the last two weeks. And he's available in tons of fantasy leagues right now. It's Hunter Henry in 76% of so this New England Patriot team. We know their offense doesn't have a lot of weapons. And Henry, the last couple weeks, has gone out there and played well. But the only thing right now which could make fantasy on his weary or get picking him up, Obviously, he injured that knee in that game, and he didn't return. He could play in this week's ball game. Great matchup at the Broncos. They give up the second most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. Next tight ends, Tucker Kraft of the Green Bay Packers. So Kraft, it's been a nice four weeks for him filling in for Luke Musgrave as the starting tight end. Available 90% of fantasy leagues. And he's gone out there and he's put up fantasy points. Week 12 at Detroit, two catches, 15 yards a touch. Week 13 versus the Chiefs, three catches, 37 yards. Week 14 at the Giants, four catches, 64 yards. And week 15 versus Tampa Bay in that ball game, four catches, 57 yards and a touchdown. So Tucker Craft is running routes. He's a nice tight end in the scene for this Green Bay Packer team. And him and Jordan Love definitely have a good rapport. So week 16, definitely a tougher matchup on paper at the Panthers, believe it or not. They give up the third least amount of fantasy points to tight ends on the season. But Tucker Craft's been playing good football. And we know tight end for the most part has been a crap shoot on and off this season. So if you need a tight end, he's out there in 90% of fantasy leagues. The next tight end is Tanner Hudson of the Cincinnati Bengals. So another tight end who's been solid over the last few weeks. And it has to attribute, in my opinion, to him and Jake Browning all season being on the second team. Before Joe Burrow went down and then Browning and Hudson getting more opportunity. Week 13 at Jacksonville, four catches, 35 yards. Week 14 versus Indianapolis, two catches. 21 yards in week 15 versus minnesota five catches 49 yards i know they run a lot of three tight end sets is a cincinnati Bengal team over the last few weeks true sample one of the tight ends of smith jr but tana hudson's been the more productive tight end than a guy who's obviously been operating decent for fantasy owners with 8.90 fantasy points or more in three out of the last five games so he's going out there he's getting targets he's making plays in the seam of the field and the only thing obviously left for him to do is go out there and score touchdowns. So right now with a decent matchup at the Steelers that give up the 14th most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. I think Tanner Hudson is a decent option. Once again, available 96% of fantasy leagues. The next tight end is Gerald Everett of Los Angeles Chargers. And Gerald Everett moving up the pecking order as a target. We saw Keenan Allen miss last week's game. I know Joshua Palmer found the end zone. And now a whole new coaching staff and stuff. So we'll see how this offense operates. But the last month of the season here eight or more fantasy points in ppr leagues for gerald Everett. week 12 versus baltimore four catches 43 yards a touchdown week 13 at the pats four catches 44 yards week 14 versus denver five catches 39 yards and then the blowout loss at vegas five catches 41 yards on eight targets a so week 16 i know tough matchup versus the buffalo bills that give up the ninth least amount of fantasy points the tight ends on the season but Easton stick a young quarterback obviously and I always say in the videos a young quarterbacks security blanket and main target usually is the tight end so Gerald Everett like I said he's gone out there the last month of the season he's putting up fantasy points and right now while well, he's still out there in 56 percent of fantasy leagues even with the backup quarterback in Easton stick I think he could put up fantasy numbers and help owners down the stretch here in the fifth and final tight end I looked at it off the wire this week here. It's Jawan Johnson of the New Orleans Saints. It's Jawan Johnson, it's definitely been a down season for him compared to last year. For the last couple weeks, he's starting to get more emphasis into this offense a little bit. But he's more of a streaming option than anything. What a good matchup from week 16 at the Rams. I give up the third most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. So the last few weeks here for Johnson, week 12 at Atlanta, four catches, 45 yards. Week 13 at Goose Egg on three targets. Week 14... Versus the Panthers, two catches, 10 yards. And week 15 versus the Giants, two catches, 38 yards and a touchdown. So like I said, there's a streaming option and a good matchup with the Rams. that give up a lot of fantasy points to tight ends on the season. I think Johnson could be a tight end that could surprise and possibly once again get 30, 40 yards and find the end zone available in 88% of fantasy weeks. So that's a few tight ends I looked at off the wire for week 16 of the fantasy football season.